Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I've had some people ask me about my Simplex repeater. How do I have it set up? Why do I use it? Um, questions like that. So I'm going to do a quick video here and kind of show you what I have. What I have is a Baofeng handheld that is programmed to my main repeater, which is right next to us over in the other room. So that's why I don't really need to use an external antenna. If I was going to use this by itself, I would unscrew that antenna and put an outside antenna and hook it up to the radio, obviously, for better range. But since I'm doing it the other way, I don't need to do that. This is a modified Baofeng radio. I did a video on this a while back ago when I modified it to work with that blue box or the R1 2020 box. Matter of fact, in the video, I'm as you can still hear, see here, I'm still using the the, the pill bottle uh, for all to hold uh, my plug for that. So you, you see that in the video, but that's what I'm using is a modified Baofeng um, radio. And like I said, I have a video on that uh, about that. Now that runs into the blue box. I call this the blue box, which is actually the R1 2020. Uh, interface type box um, what this box lets me do it lets me hook it up to a computer and not use Vox this lets me use a COM port so that's why I, I like using that box because of the I don't want to deal with the Vox so that is how that is done now the um, the blue box here is kind of finicky. The reason why I had to modify the radio, this blue box needs a certain voltage for it to detect squelch. Or another term they use for squelch is COS or COR or whatever term you want to use. This blue box is very, very touchy. And if that voltage ain't quite right, it will not work. So by modifying the radio, it let me modify it so it puts out a little more voltage for that box to work. That's the reason why I had to modify the bowel thing. Um, if I maybe I'll try to post those links down below. Um, I obviously have the blue box hooked up to a laptop that's running a simplex. Uh, Repeater software, software is free. Now I know people are. At, I know people say this all the time. Well, why use a laptop? They buy a little box that does this. So why are you using a laptop? And that is true. You could buy a little plastic box that does a simplex repeater. But that's all that plastic box does is a simplex repeater. It does not do Zello. It does not do date and time. It does not do channel uh, uh, your repeater ID announcements. It doesn't do none of that. It just records and plays back, which is fine, uh, you know, which is which is what you want to do. But if you want more than that, it's just best to get a cheap computer and have it do it. I think that box is about uh, 80 bucks anyways, I think it is. Um, so that's why I like using a computer. This is a cheap laptop, the bottom line you can possibly get. I think this is actually an old one. Um, so that's that. Now, the Simplex repeater has its advantages and disadvantages the one advantage it has is you can make it so that it can only use one frequency you don't need to use a split frequency so the advantage of that is one you don't need a duplexer two you can go down to Walmart or any big box store and buy a bubble radio and it will work with this repeater because it's if you set it for only one frequency then those radios will work. Now, a, 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 um, a full repeater uses two frequencies. So those bubble wrap radios, I call them, cannot do that. So I cannot use my Walmart ra or my, wa my Walmart radios on my main repeater. I can't do it. But this I can. You see, that's kind of an advantage of using a simplex repeater. Now, the disadvantage of using a simplex repeater, since it records all voice activity and plays it back through the airwaves, you're going to hit, you're going to hear your voice be played back. So if I hop on the radio and I say testing one, two, three, you'll hear it play back. And a good example of that in action is if you watch my distance videos, this is how I do my distance. 
this is how I get it to record and play back. I use this exact same setup. Um, so that's if you want to you know, watch a video, you can, you can see what I'm talking about. That's the only kind of downside about using the simplex. Um, but it's a cheap way to get a quick repeater. Like I said before, obviously I'd recommend putting an antenna on the outside. You know, get a, a different antenna. But for the most part, it, you know, it'll work fairly, you know, fairly decent for what it is. Um, so that's how that is. Now. I use it because, obviously, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I have many repeaters, so I don't really need this for my repeater, but I like to use it because this is how I test test things. How do I sound? How do, That's why I like using that because I can hop on the radio, talk on it, and I can hear it play back, and I get an idea how I'm sounding over the airwaves. That's why I use it. Uh, for all my tests, you know, testing of all my circuits. So that's how I do that. So um, I think that's pretty much about it. I think I covered everything on there. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.